This Polk County High School teacher was warned. Her sexual conversations with a 15-year-old were inappropriate, but detectives say she continued, and now she's in jail. She taught physics at Haines City High School, and that's where Fox 13's Ken Suarez is with more details for us. Ken? You know, if somebody's going to give you a second chance, probably the smart idea is to take it. You move on, and hopefully you don't make the same mistake a second time. But the teacher we're talking about here tonight, well, apparently that lesson went right over her head. Nicole Dunlap. And this is where Robin Dunlap ended up, in Jailhouse Blues, charged with crimes against a child, felonies. It was a hot topic for kids at Haines City High Tuesday. They can't believe it. I can't believe it. Detectives say a few months ago, Dunlap used an Xbox and a phone to chat up a kid in Texas, then sent him nude pictures of herself. That's bad, you know? It's bad, because it could have been my child. I wouldn't have liked it at all. At first, Dunlap thought the boy was 19. That's what he told her. When his mom figured out what was going on, she called Dunlap and set her straight. The boy was really only 15. She did the right thing. Uh, she contacted us and self-reported. The Polk school system took her out of the classroom, assigned her to an administrative job, and opened an investigation. But criminally, it seemed like she was off the hook, but not for long. Investigators say she kept playing with fire, having extremely graphic conversations with the boy about sex. If they told you, why would you go and do that? We're not going to tell you what she told him to do, but listen to how the chief sums it up. It's screwed up. Now, the Polk School District is in the process of firing her right now. Interesting to note that she didn't have any background. She had no marks against her name. This is the first one, certainly a pretty big one. Uh, the bottom line is investigators say that they don't think there's any indication that she had any inappropriate relationships with the students here at Haines City High School. But if you are a student and that was the case, they say the time to speak out is right now. Linda? We'll see what happens next. Ken, thank you.